Did you know that the beloved jelly beans once had a cameo in the gruesome process of making glue? Yes, you heard it right. Picture this. It's the 19th century, and candy makers are using the same material that makes horse hooves sticky to give our favorite Easter treat its shiny shell. Who would have thought? But don't worry, these days they use a much more appetizing alternative. Now, get ready as we dive into the top 10 foods you wouldn't eat if you saw how they were made. So starting off our countdown at number 10, we have our gluey friend, the jelly bean. These colorful morsels undergo a complex production process that might leave you second-guessing your next handful. Picture a vat of sugar syrup, slowly hardening around a tiny candy center. Next, the beans are polished to a high sheen using a substance derived from insects called shellac. Yes, you heard that right. Bugs. A little more nature than you bargained for, perhaps? Next time you pop a jelly bean, remember the journey it's been on. Coming in at number 9, we have the all-American favorite, the hot dog. You might be thinking of those summer barbecues, baseball games, and your favorite toppings, but have you ever wondered about the journey your hot dog took to get to your plate? Well, it's a whirlwind of a tale that starts with the leftover parts of meat after the prime cuts are taken. That's right, we're talking about all those bits that don't make the cut for steaks and chops. These parts are ground up and mixed with water, starch, and various flavorings to create the hot dog's distinctive taste. Next, this meaty concoction is stuffed into casings, which are often made from animal intestines, and then it's off to the smokehouse for cooking. After they're cooked and cooled, they're packaged up and sent to your local store. So, the humble hot dog, it's a testament to the age-old saying, waste not, want not. Well, that's certainly a lot to digest. At number eight, we have a childhood favorite, chicken nuggets. These bite-sized treats are more than just chicken. They're a blend of mechanically separated meat, which means all parts of the chicken are ground up, bones and all. This mix is then shaped, breaded and deep fried to perfection. Quite the process for something so small, right? But hey, don't let that ruin your nugget loving experience. Just remember every nugget you munch on is a result of some serious poultry wizardry. Now that's a nugget of knowledge. Landing at number seven, we have the tangy and tasty cheese. This delicious dairy delight is actually a curdled tail. How so? Well, cheese is made by curdling milk using an enzyme called rennet. Now here's the kicker. This rennet is traditionally obtained from the stomach lining of young ruminant animals. Yes, you heard it right. Your favorite cheddar or brie owes its existence to a calf's stomach. So the next time you're enjoying a cheese platter, remember its curdled origins. Who knew cheese could be so stomach churning? At number six, we have the morning starter, coffee. But not just any coffee, we're talking about Kopi Luwak, the world's most expensive brew. The secret behind this luxurious liquid? It's all in the civet cat. These creatures feast on the ripest coffee cherries, and through their digestive process, the beans are fermented. Once excreted, they're collected, cleaned, and processed into the coffee we know and love. A rather unusual method, wouldn't you say? Bet you didn't see that one brewing. Buzzing into number five, we have the sweet and sticky honey. Now this golden delight is the result of some serious bee labor. Bees fly from flower to flower, sipping nectar and storing it in their honey stomachs. Back at the hive, they regurgitate this nectar for other worker bees to process it into honey. That's right, folks. Honey is essentially bee vomit, yet it's so irresistibly sweet. The next time you drizzle honey on your pancakes, Remember the hardworking bees and their little surprise. Well, that's one sweet surprise. Uh, swimming into number four, we have the pantry staple, canned tuna. Now here's where things get a bit fishy. The production of canned tuna isn't as clean cut as you might think. Commercial fishing practices often involve the use of large nets that scoop up everything in their path, leading to a significant level of bycatch. Additionally, the high levels of mercury found in tuna can pose a risk to our health. Makes you think twice about your tuna sandwich, doesn't it? Bouncing into number three, we have the versatile and jiggly gelatin. This seemingly innocent ingredient is used in everything from your favorite gummy candies to creamy desserts. But have you ever wondered how it's made? Well, buckle up, because this might leave a sour taste in your mouth. Gelatin is derived from collagen a protein often sourced from animal bones and hides. Yes, you heard that right. That jiggly, fruity dessert you love, it's got a little bit of Bessie the cow in it. 
The process involves boiling these animal parts to extract the collagen, which is then dried, ground, and processed into the gelatin we use in cooking. Well, that puts a new spin on jello shots, doesn't it? Melting into number two, we have the universally loved chocolate. Now, who doesn't adore this heavenly concoction? But here's the twist. The production process of chocolate isn't as sweet as the final product. The journey of a cocoa bean from tree to chocolate bar is a long and labor-intensive one, often overshadowed by exploitative practices. Many cocoa farms in West Africa, where most of the world's cocoa originates, are notorious for their use of child labor under harsh conditions. These children are often underpaid or not paid at all, working in dangerous situations with little to no protection. So, the next time you savor a piece of chocolate, remember the unseen hands that have labored to bring you that sweet delight. A bitter truth behind a sweet treat. And finally, at number one, we have the controversial gourmet delight, foie gras. A staple at many high-end restaurants, this delicacy is loved for its rich, buttery flavor. But its production process, that's a whole different story. Foie gras, which literally translates to fat liver, is made from the enlarged livers of ducks and geese. And how do these livers get so big, you ask? Through a process known as gavage. Gavage is a French term for force feeding, and it's as unpleasant as it sounds. Birds are fed a high-fat diet through a tube inserted directly into their throats, causing their livers to swell up to 10 times their normal size. This practice has sparked outrage among animal rights activists, leading to bans in several countries. Yet, it remains a sought-after delicacy. Its creamy, melt-in-your-mouth texture often overshadowing the grim reality behind its production. Well, that's a hard one to swallow. So there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through the sweetest glues to the most gourmet nightmares. We've uncovered the jiggly truths and the fishy businesses. We've dived into the hard work of bees and the secret of the civet. It's been a mixed bag of unexpected origins and curdled tales. It's essential to know where our food comes from and the processes behind it. Remember, knowledge is power even when it comes to what's on your plate. 